Okay, so on homework day 18, these problems sort of look like the ones we did on the previous page. However, you're not going to be able to factor them out. You'll know when you take the assessment that in the directions it'll say, use the quadratic formula to solve them. And so if it says use the quadratic formula, we have to use the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula says that x is going to be equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2as. I'm sure you don't have that memorized, so you'll want to write that down. <laughs> x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And where in the heck are they getting the a, b's, and c's from? They're saying that if you have ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, the a is the coefficient of your x squared term. So on this one, the a is going to be 5. The b is the coefficient of your x term. So on this one, the b is going to be 9. And the c is your constant term, the 2 c equals 2. So what we're going to do is take these numbers and plug them in on our formula. So our formula says we're going to do minus whatever the b value is. The b value in this case is going to be 9. Plus or minus the square root of the b value squared. So again we had 9 for b so we're going to have minus 9 squared. Then our formula has a minus 4. Minus 4 times the a value, which is 5, times the c value, which is 2. And on the bottom, we have 2 times the a value. 2 times the a value, which is 5. want to simplify that mess. <laughs> now here, if I have minus the 9, we can just drop the parentheses, right? We use the parentheses in case it's a negative, because then we have minus a negative 9. But in this case, it was just minus the 9. So minus 9. Plus or minus the square root of 9 squared. 9 times 9, 81. Here I'm going to multiply. Minus 4 times 5 times 2. 4 times 5 is 20, 20 times 2 is 40, so <coughs> 9 is 40. Over 2 times 5, which is 10. I can simplify that a little bit more because I can do the 81 minus 40, right? So I have minus 9 plus or minus the square root of 81 minus 40 is 41 over 10. That crazy looking thing is going to be your answer. Later we'll use a calculator to figure out what decimal it's equal to. But when you put it in, there's not going to be the plus or minus option. You have to put it in as two separate answers. Notice it says separate it with a comma. So you're going to put in negative 9 plus the square root of 41. That whole thing is over 10. Be careful when you type that in that you don't just get the 41 over the 10. That the whole thing is over 10. And then you're going to have the negative 9 minus the square root of 41 over your 10. If you're used to doing Microsoft Office, <coughs> if you highlight this and hit Control C, it copies, Control V, it pastes, then you just have to change the sign in the middle. <laughs> So that's the quadratic formula. We're going to use it to solve quadratic equations that don't factor, but they're going to tell you in the problem, use the quadratic formula so that you don't have to guess, will it factor or not? <coughs> if it says to use the quadratic formula, it's not going to factor. So quadratic formula again, minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So on this one, a would be what number? 9. B is going to be? 5. Negative 5. And 
C is going to be negative 1. Assuming Charlie needed to run and get a drink. <laughs> so we're going to plug that into our quadratic formula. We have minus a negative 5 plus or minus the square root of the b value, which is negative 5 squared minus 4 times the a value, which you said was 9, times the c value, which was minus 1, all over 2 times the a value. Let's see if you got that all written down. <laughs> so if we're going to simplify that one, We've got minus a negative, which is going to change that to a positive 5, plus or minus. A negative 5 squared, negative 5 times negative 5 would make that positive 25. And then we have minus 4 times 9 times minus 1. Well, we got a negative times a negative, so we're going to get a positive. 4 times 9 times 1 is 36 over my 2 times 9, which is 18. So one last little thing to finish that. We're going to add 25 plus 36. So we're going to have 5 plus or minus the square root of 61 over 18. So again, when they put that answer in, they're going to put it in as two answers. 5 plus the square root of 61 all over the 18, and 5 minus the square root of 61, all over the 18. There she is. Remember that came So we said on this one that A was 9, the B is <coughs> negative 5, the C is negative 1. So then when we plug them in, we had minus the B value of negative 5, plus or minus the square root of the B value squared, so negative 5 squared, minus 4 times the a value, which was 9, times the c value, which was negative 1, all over 2 times the a value, which was 9. So when we simplified, we had minus a negative, made it a positive. Then we did negative 25 squared, which is a positive 25. We took negative 4 times 9 times negative 1, which is a positive 36. And on the bottom, 2 times 9 was 18. Then all we needed to do was add those two together. So we got a 61 under our square root. So we get 5 plus the square root of 61 over 18 and 5 minus the square root of 61 over 18. So the third one, using the quadratic formula, picking out what your A, B, and C should be. A is going to be... Three. B is going to be. Is it going to be three again? Three again, because there's a three there, and C is going to be seven. Negative seven. Negative seven. Don't forget that sign. So plugging it into our quadratic formula, we have minus, and the B value is.
3, 3, plus or minus the square root of the B value squared. So the B value again is 3, so we're going to have 3 squared, right? Then we're going to take minus 4 times the A value and times the C value. So minus 4 times the A value is 3, and the C value, negative 7. On the bottom, 2 times the A value. So 2 times 3. So we have to solve that. So getting rid of these first parentheses here, I'm going to just have negative 3, plus or minus. 3 squared is 9. Negative 4 times 3 times negative 7. Positive 84. Over 2 times 3, 6. And then the only other thing we're going to do is we're going to add the 9 plus the 84. 9 plus 84 would give me negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 93 over 6. So again, you have to put it in twice, negative 3 plus the square root of 93 over 6, and negative 3 minus the square root of 93 over 6. Now, there will be some that you have a square root, like if you have the square root of 50 that you could simplify. This point, I'm not going to have you waste the time trying to simplify it. You'll put in your answer, it'll say, it's correct, however, you could have simplified it, but it's still going to count it correct. So we're just going to go to that point and call it good, <laughs> since we've got some catching up to do. 